Three reasons why the United States doesn't win wars anymore. One, there are no major wars. This may sound like a paradox, but it is not. The US won every major war until 1945. Since then, it's fought five major wars. Korea, Vietnam, the Gulf War, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Only the 1991 Gulf War can be classified as a success. The counterintuitive reason is America's military strength. No other country can match American firepower, but the five wars above weren't really fought against countries. Interstate wars have become the exception. Today, about 90% of wars are civil or proxy wars. Apart from the Russo-Ukrainian War, there are no interstate conflicts. Instead, there are complex insurgencies. They often involve different warring groups. The government typically faces a crisis of legitimacy. This is the situation in Syria, Yemen, Congo, and elsewhere. The US has found it far more difficult to achieve its goals in such cases. In Korea, the US was successful in expelling the North Koreans, but it failed to liberate the North when China intervened. In the Gulf War, it kicked Iraq out from Kuwait but left it alone. In contrast, Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan were the three longest wars in U.S. history. All of them were complex types of civil wars. The U.S. can win on the battlefield against a major military force. It can hit any target with pinpoint accuracy. But what if you don't know where the enemy is? What if there are no military bases or command centers? What if the enemy combatants don't wear uniforms? Two. Modern wars are all of the type the U.S. can't win. It was relatively easy to topple Saddam Hussein's regime, but his fighting force was composed of draftees. Few of them were motivated, let alone suicidal. ISIS, however, proved a much tougher enemy to beat, just like the Viet Cong, or the Taliban, or the cartels in Mexico and Colombia. The list is endless, but it always comes down to one thing. There's no adequate military response to these threats. 20 years of occupation did nothing to defeat the Taliban. Iraq is still plagued by instability and militant factions. This problem leads to a second paradox. The United States is weak because it's too strong. The US always believes itself capable of defeating the enemy. As a result, it gets drawn into unwinnable conflicts. A weaker, smaller country wouldn't have attacked Iraq it would have been considered too risky and too costly. American confidence is thus a disadvantage. Sure, the US has carrier strike groups and a huge nuclear arsenal, but how does any of it help in a foreign civil war? Remember the ill-fated American intervention in Libya? It lasted four years and was supposed to rid the country of ISIS. Around 1,000 ISIS fighters were killed, but Libya is still in turmoil a decade later Neither ISIS nor Al-Qaeda have been wiped out. 3. American leaders don't learn from history. Again, this comes down to confidence and perceived strength. Every US president believes America can win any given conflict. They always convince themselves it'll be different this time. This will not be another Vietnam has become a mantra, but the US doesn't think several moves ahead. The military is good at taking out bad guys. But the removal of one bad guy creates a power vacuum. That power vacuum is filled by somebody else. The civil war is thus perpetuated and the threat remains. It's not clear what could be done about it.